it is amazing to know that God has chosen to depend on me. Very expensive statement. But it is true. That when God wants to come to South Africa, he says, among the many people who represent me, can you come? So when we come, he has come. When we speak, he has spoken. Listen. It's a very simple revelation but it brought healing to my life. You come from a background where there is no comeliness and nothing around your life by default represents an advantage. We live in a world where men can bully you using all kinds of parameters. Especially our generation and we've tilted towards the path of corruption and destruction all in a way to heal an old wound. To try to create a narrative that we are great. Yet the Bible has structured a system to educate you, to help you know not just that he died for you, but the things that he calls you. Men can tell you God said this about you, but listen to what he said himself. Not just about himself. Theologically speaking, there are 10 I am statements in the Bible, the New Testament, the Gospels and Revelations that Jesus said he is and he was. Seven of them in the Gospels, the remaining three, you find it in Revelation. But he did not just speak about himself. He spoke about the believer. The final thing he had to say about you is found in Matthew chapter 5, 13 to 16. He starts by saying you are the salt of South Africa. The assignment of salt is number one, to preserve. Number two, to add taste. And... You may have heard me say it in my teachings. It is never too late to add salt to any meal. There are certain ingredients that if you do not bring them at the certain time, you have ruined the meal. Am I right on that, women? Not salt. Even at the table, you will still find salt there in case. That means there is nothing like too late. No. Don't say I am 75. Too old, not when you are salt. There is still a space for you. It says you are the salt of the earth. It says, but if the salt has lost its savour, its saltiness, it is good for nothing except to be thrown and trampled at foot of men. Then he says, you are the light of the world. I love that one. Light. Do you know the most powerful thing I learned about light? It does not have to be everywhere to illuminate everywhere. Light can be at one point and every part of the room can feel the impact. And then, like you may have heard me teach, imagine with me a room that has been dark for 10 years, another room dark for one year, another room dark for two days if you connect all of them and switch on the light which one will come up first the longevity of darkness does not affect light as soon as it appears it says you are the light so don't complain and say this has existed for 50 years no it doesn't matter the moment the light shows up kari katos katos yata light I know that witchcraft and ancestry and satanic manipulations have happened in your family for 100 years but when light comes John 1 5 and the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the light introduces a new order a new order it stops the usual disrupts status quo Hallelujah. Hear me. I want to leave you with this one message tonight. That number one, you have been preordained and predestined unto glory. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ was not designed to be a weak, beggarly 
support needing church no equip within this system this nation this economy called the church is supposed to be a representation of intelligence that cannot be found by any other civilization God himself resides within his body his wisdom resides within his body but then I also told you that the tragedy is that we are not yet in the fullness of God's expectation but do you know what the Spirit of God is patient with us and guiding us step by step through the ministry of teaching priests through the ministry of prophetic psalmists thanks to the acceleration that technology has brought granting us access to truth at a rate that we have never had listen to me ladies and gentlemen God seeks to raise a mighty church out of South Africa if Jesus Christ were to speak over South Africa he will move beyond saying house of treasures he will say the church in South Africa read revelations the church in Pergamos the church in Philadelphia that means in the mind of God there is either the church or nothing else so the corporate body of believers in truth we may not agree in everything in terms of doctrine and then because of our personal press and alignment we may differ but I told you the binder of a people is vision vision that is greater than their personal ambitions I truly believe with all my heart that among the many things that this conference seeks to do is to bring the body of Christ across South Africa to say that there is a sound that needs to come out from South Africa one sound one sound one sound even the demons that were in the legion one person spoke on their behalf he said we are legion but I'm the one speaking unity is not uniformity no unity is not exactness no unity is looking up to a higher vision and a higher call that is greater than our individual ambitions and this is what we may disagree in many things but it should not be about projecting Jesus and bringing revival to nations tomorrow by the grace of God I'm going to take the time to now begin to build and to show you even by the spirit of the living God in addition to our identity it is important to understand our corporate mandate as a people hallelujah and the full extent of God's expectation and then we'll consider by the spirit of God you need to hear that one the resources that have been made available on account of this assignment but for tonight let me the next two please sit down let me just give you one thing for tonight if we if we stop here you can go home tonight rejoicing as a man of God you can go home tonight and convert a few hours of your night time to prayer to say Lord so this is what you are doing now that I know I position myself the worshippers position themselves to receive the songs of Miriam ah it was Miriam that wrote that song I will sing unto the Lord she said for he has triumphed gloriously I can tell you by the spirit of the Lord I came with the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic to show you what the spirit of God is doing across the nations it is important we discern what he is doing. His church is rising. If the bride of a man is wounded, she is still his bride. And in the order of the good Samaritan, the bomb in Gilead is walking. I know that the church has had all kinds of issues, but don't worry. The Lord of the harvest is still walking. Don't you conclude about this church. Then you do not know God. I know there have been scandals and issues, but don't.
don't you conclude God is still working the great physician he's called working upon his bride listen 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 I didn't plan this but listen to me have you seen someone going through surgery in the hospital there are surgeries called major surgeries sometimes for 11 hours consultants changing hands you would see the patient as though they were dead sometimes they have to crack through the skull and reach down to the brain and delicate things are happening there that's what God is doing in his bride man of God find strength you will not always cry there is grace and glory coming oh yes mm. here's what the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 18 for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. It says for the earnest expectation of creation awaited. I think it's NLT that says creation is waiting for God to reveal who his sons truly are. South Africa, cheer up the solution to the world will still find expression through this land there are men and women some in the cave of adulam some in the wilderness like david they have no visibility yet they have no comeliness yet but you just walk with the holy ghost he produces glory out of men he produces glory out of men he produces glory out of men hallelujah now let me tell you this I'm going to say something that I want you to discern every time major prophetic revivals are coming upon nations among the many things that God does is he gives them new songs listen a new song is not about music it's a language it's a system in the spirit that opens up vistas for people you now understand why we're singing songs like this yes sir i've had to be receiving songs myself i've had to sacrifice music for word ministry but the spirit of god does not care once you are available and you touch things in the spirit here come the songs i'm saying that so that you do not find it strange if in the place of prayer you receive a song that you will sing all through and then even forget it at the end of the prayer maybe just remember a line or song it was a ladder for you to ascend realms in the spirit hallelujah please give me five more minutes sit down Tomorrow, even if it's 6 a.m. in the morning, come and roam around praying in the spirit and wait here. Are we together? Invite everybody in South Africa, every man of God. This is more than a house of treasures conference. It's an apostolic convergence. The Lord, by his spirit and by mercy, is opening to us the blueprint of his dealings for the season. Do not make the mistake of Acts 18 and Acts 19. There was a man called Apollos of Alexandria, eloquent in scripture, fervent in spirit, but he knew only. There are people who know very much but do not know what God is doing now. It's important for you to understand the speakings of God now. Then in Acts chapter 19, Paul, having traveled through the upper course, he came to Ephesus, the Bible says, and found certain disciples they were being mentored and he asked them a question have you received the holy ghost since you believed even though they were disciples they said we've not even heard if there be any holy ghost so who was teaching them and what were they learning there was another move that had started and these guys were still using a manuscript that was not applicable as far as the move of the spirit was concerned paul was disturbed and he said unto what then were you baptized and as innocent disciples they said unto john's baptism said no conferences like this I have told you is more than men of God just coming to display revelation and power no those days are over is God coming through privileged vessels
to speak to nations and territories revealing the blueprint of the spirit part time and in truth it does not matter what vessel is used the most the message is bigger than the messenger is the message that even makes the messenger valuable hallelujah and i hope that as we preach the word that among the many things you see is that you see christ exalted through our lives beyond the blessings and the paraphernalia of ministry the honor that we receive look beyond those things and see sincere people who are desperate and determined to see only jesus lifted this has been the theme of my life thank god for the honor and the blessings but in doing this we're also having the privilege to mentor a generation coming to kill flesh quick so that they don't destroy themselves the desire for pride and the desire to be a superstar to be the person at the center stage no god is lovingly editing that ideology out of the body of christ and restoring christ as the epicenter of our pursuit hallelujah let me tell you three things I have about seven here but I want to tell you three things the Bible says the church is and then we'll, we'll close for tonight number one first Peter 2 and verse 9 I'm showing you who you are in light of who Christ is here's what Apostle Peter has to tell us but ye are a chosen generation listen carefully he says we are a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people a rare breed and we are mandated to go and show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light number two what does he call us? Ephesians 2.10 He calls us his workmanship. You know what a man's workmanship means? The tool that you use to express your creativity is called your workmanship. Hallelujah. Not just the product of your creativity but the tools that you use. So when a doctor wants to carry out his medical procedures the stethoscope, the syringes, the you know, surgical knives, those are his workmanship. Not just the artistry, but what he will use to demonstrate it. So every time God wants to say something upon the earth, he does not use a pen, he uses man. We are his workmanship. As mighty as God is, he has chosen to incorporate me, not because he cannot do without me, but he has chosen look how helpless god looked all through scripture until he found men as mighty as god was and is he seemed incapacitated and he himself will say i sought for a man not i sought for power i am all powerful but my agenda and my program when you know that as mighty as god is he has factored you in the equation of his glory you will not depend on any man. The complex, low self-esteem will die a natural death. 